My battle station was Hot Shellman on gun number one on the bow. Well, Hot Shellman, I was issued mittens uh, made out of asbestos, and I would catch the hot brass as it came out of the gun after the gun was fired, and I was supposed to put it in a netting that would be rigged for me to throw the hot brass into. I believe that myself and the other crew members um, gave the captain great credit for making a decision to fire. The Arizona was, uh, not the Arizona, the Antares supply ship was coming into Pearl Harbor at 0645, or a little before that, and uh, towing a barge. And between the Arizona and the barge, this little two-man sub was trying to sneak into the harbor. And the, uh, it had been spotted before in the area. And we'd called, we were called to general quarters, and uh, they lost track of it. Okay, it's, it's so small, we can't blame the sonar man for losing it in the waves and near the surface and that. But, uh, I think we were called to general quarters, uh, oh, something like 0300 or 0400 in the morning. Anyway, it seemed way early in the morning. And then we were secured from general quarters, and then when general quarters went again, uh, the, we were on our way full speed ahead to uh, uh, attack the submarine. And uh, the... Uh, as I understood it, the captain said, uh, all ahead flank, stand by to ram, commence firing. What did it when look we fired like? at what the it sub, like it was a uh, hundred yards away. And when gun number three fired at it and hit it, it was only 50 yards away. The gun number three hit at the base of the conning tower, and uh, I'm sure it killed the... Uh, uh, the Japanese uh, commander of that sub. Bye. Looked like a 50 gallon oil drum on top of maybe three or four of them that were laid down below it with a broomstick sticking up. And of course that broomstick was the periscope. If it was anything like that, we thought it might have been a toy or who knows. We'd never heard of or seen of anything like a two-man submarine before. But uh, as I said, I give the captain great credit for making a decision to fire, because they did start World War II. Maybe you were just an observer. We found out later that it not only had two torpedoes, but it also had a 500-pound detonation charge in the stern, and that the uh, skipper of that sub was supposed to come alongside another ship and blow himself up along with the other ship that he was alongside. So. When I heard about that later on, I was kind of <laughs> worried because the captain had said, stand by to ram. He'd made up his mind that he was going to get that submarine one way or another. I think the thing that terrified me the most was all the planes. And uh, they were firing at people in the water. And, uh, then we had to go into West lock, which is where the ammunition was all stored, and we had to reload, take on board some more ammunition. And I didn't like the idea of being in the ammunition storage area <laughs> under those circumstances. So we got in there, we loaded up, and got out. I left the ward about uh, six months after uh, the uh, December 7th attack.